Hi everyone, we are in Belgrade for 48 hours and would like to discover the city. And that's why we choose the Arca Barca, which is a really cool and laid back floating hotel and we paid 69 euros per night for it. We would like to show you our hotel with a little room tour. So come in. There is the living area with an incredible view. This is the river Danube and there is the little balcony to sit and enjoy yourself. Also every window has a mosquito net, which can be very important. And there are some other houseboats, many of these are restaurants and over there is the old town where you can walk to through a park, which is directly behind the hotel. Small kitchen and bathroom. And here comes the cozy sleeping room where we have been rocked to sleep very gently. And this is the open and bright lounge area with a cafe and a bar. We also had a delicious breakfast there. A buffet with lots of nice things to enjoy right on a terrace. And now let's walk across the bridge to Belgrade's city center. At the tram stop at Kalamagdan Park, we got on the tram. Line 2, which we took, runs in a circle around the city center. This is actually a very nice sightseeing tour. By the way, we didn't pay for the tram and the bus rides, because we had no idea how. Maybe you have a tip for us for the next time. We heard everywhere that you can buy tickets either at the kiosks or at the tram driver. They never had any at the kiosks and the drivers didn't give us any either. Then they always said to us very kindly, enjoy the ride. In the evening we went to the Keops. This is a pancake restaurant very close to our hotel. We actually wanted to sit down there. Unfortunately, they don't have any non-smoking areas. That's not that nice, especially with kids. We then took some for takeaway. They were delicious and not pricey. And of course, a culinary highlight shouldn't be missed either. Sorry if it's okay. Thank you. That's nice. 
These were by far the best chebab chipsi we have ever eaten. After dinner, we went to the church San Sava. It is one of the largest Orthodox churches in the world, and on Whit Sunday, it was very busy. And finally, the most striking building of Belgrade, the Dzhenix Tower, also known as the Western City Gate of Belgrade, and a perfect example of the architectural style brutalism. <laughs> <laughs> 